All right, today a couple of tips for the glutes and hamstrings, and first is going to be glutes, and uh, for many of you, you know this is called a glute bridge, or that's what we call it. Some people may call it something else, but anyway, uh, point being, when she goes down, she's not going down so far that her knees begin to come back closer toward her body when she pops up. This is all glute. Glute is completely flexed right there. So when she starts to go back down, just remember the knees need to stay forward as much as they can. Don't go deep, as I mentioned, because your hamstrings will start to come into play. And I didn't recognize this until she told me to do that. And once I did, I completely felt it 100% in the glutes and none in the hamstrings. Not to say don't go all the way down if you want to work your glutes or your hamstrings in with the glutes, but if you want to strictly fo focus on the glutes, try this approach and see how it feels. I think you'll really be surprised at what you feel in the glutes and just to take out the hamstrings in this movement will make a huge difference in the long run. Right, this is strictly for the hamstrings and this is brutal this is as brutal as brutal can be uh, you can't do a lot of reps but this uh, was something I got off of coach Eugene Teo off of Instagram and as mentioned this is strictly for the hamstrings uh, you may feel a little bit of glute in there but again it's just going to run through the hamstrings like nothing you've ever felt before and though you can't even see the hamstrings working here believe me that they are 100% on fire so what you want to do is you want to set up the bench like this. This is inside of a Smith machine. Put some weight on each end so the bar doesn't pop up on you. Um, you want to really dig your heels into the bar and you want your hips and everything to be laying on a flat bench. Try to have your legs uh, straight. So don't, don't allow your knees to dip down is what I'm saying. So try to keep the hamstrings from the glutes all the way to the knees. Try to keep them in a straight line. Uh, don't point your tees, your feet down. Uh, keep them, you know, just uh, just focus on driving your heels into the bar. Pointing your feet will cause the, hand, the calves to come into play. So just uh, get in position, cross your arms, lower your head to the floor. As you come back up, begin to flex the glutes and drive your heels into the bar. And you're going to feel those hamstrings light up like you never have. And remember, it's a short movement. You're not going to, nobody's going to see the movement. As you see here, I'm all up on her and you cannot really see the hamstrings moving, but those muscles are lit up. Um, slow reps down. Expect to get maybe five to eight reps, depending on how uh, strong your hamstrings are. And uh, let me know how you feel.